So these four batteries have been sitting here at rest for over six months now, and I'm gonna tie them up in parallel into one charging system, 400 watts of solar, and we're gonna give them a boost up because they're gonna sit on the shelf a while longer. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Looks like it's gonna be a great day to charge those batteries up. Expecting plenty of good sunshine. Perfect day for this experiment. And I'm up here in the Bungaloha this morning. And in the Bungaloha, or otherwise my little workshop, we're back on the blue, what I call the blue wall here. And for the past six months, we've been running this VoltGo 12.8 volt, 200 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. We're gonna take that out. We're gonna tie in those other four batteries to this system and charge them up on this system. And then, like I said, it's got 400 watts of solar coming in. And this is sitting at about 78% full right now. So it's a good time just to go ahead and pull that out. I'll let that rest for a while while we give those other batteries a chance to boost up. And we'll just take a quick look just to see where I'm at on this. As you can see, that's the charge controller there. Got the smart shunt showing 80% charge on that battery. So, and we've got what, 66 watts coming in earlier in the day, so it'll get better as the day progresses. So yeah, let's go ahead and disconnect this and tie those other batteries up. So first thing, I'll shut this blue wall down. I've got a light going on in here, so it might get a little dark, but I'll turn the light off. There, that's off, and I'm gonna go ahead and stop inverting, so I'm gonna turn this 800 watt inverter off. Right there. And now the only thing I've got to do is shut the solar panels off, so there'll be no, no power going anywhere. And let's shut the pa panels off. No solar coming in. And come down here and see went right to zero watts. So I'm good to go ahead and disconnect. Okay, so now what I have is a 400 amp hour bank, 12 volts, and I tied it in parallel, as you can see, pause to pause, all the way down, and negative to negative as well, and the positive to the system, and the negative to the system on the other end of the battery. So we've created one 400 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery, and now we're charging. And I'll just say this, uh, I did check the voltage of every one of these batteries after sitting for six months. Every one of them was 13.3. So pretty full after sitting for six months even. Um, I believe I had a full charge on them when I disconnected it from when I tied these in series six months ago for an experiment to make one 48 volt battery at 100 amp hours. And so now in parallel, 400 amp hours. And one of the batteries, I forget which one, was 13.29. So anyway, they were very, very close for being at rest for six months. And now I'm just gonna charge them up. 400 watts of solar coming in. I've got everything turned on. Everything's looking good, inverters on charge controllers working. Light is on. <laughs> and one of the things I'd have to do now is come in and reconfigure my smart shunt. It's reading it at 100% full, but that's not that's not correct. Um, so I can get in there and tell everything what size of a bank we're working with now. Got 113 watts of solar coming in, and the battery is now reading at 13.38. So they are all charging, and that's what I wanted to do. Just put a Put a little boost on them. I'll let them sit here for the rest of the day for sure. Probably tomorrow too. Put a pretty good charge on them. They were really okay to let them sit at 13.3 for probably months more, but it'd been six months. So I thought I'd just give it a little boost and show you guys that, um, yeah, I don't have any problems tying these different batteries together like this. It's been suggested to me over the years. I was kind of slow to try it, but yeah, this is my second go around doing that. And if I would have had enough cables, I wouldn't have hesitated to tie these two in there as well. They're ready to get charged up again. They've been sitting there for months. 
and they're sitting at about 13.2, but I didn't have enough cables. Otherwise, I'd have turned that into a 600 hour or 600 amp hour bank, and I wouldn't have worried about that at all. Charge them all up at the same time. So every one of those is the same size, even though the case is different. Uh, they're all 12.8 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate, 1,280 watt hours each. Even though, yeah, as you can see, little different size cases and whatnot, but all the same size. And I'm not advocating that anybody does this. I'm just trying this for my own experiment. And if you guys were tuning in six months ago when I tied these same batteries into series to make a 48 volt uh, battery, the only thing different, I did put a, uh, a battery equalizer on there, which I showed you. Actually, it was called a battery balancer. <laughs> Pardon me for that. But if you'll recall, I put this on these four batteries, which is specifically for 24, 36, and 48 volt systems. And this did a amazing job at keeping those all exactly the same voltage while it was charging up as a 48 volt battery. So yeah, I wouldn't hesitate to do that again either because that really worked well, but that's not applicable for, for this right here. Don't need it right here. This is all gonna, you know, read as one battery as as well as it did at 48 volts, but this just really balanced uh, everything together very well. There was a multitude of leads on this thing, as you recall. So, but that's for a 48 volt. And what are we getting? Oh, look at that. The sun's peeking out. Now we're cranking on a 400 watt array. Getting pretty close to that right now. It's pretty warm out there. So that's pretty close to about the max with this kind of heat. And you can see it's pumping the voltage up right now to about 13.6 something. And we started at 13.3 across the board. So I'm going to let this go the rest of the day and see what I end up with. I don't think it'll get anywhere near a full charge today, but it's going to definitely kind of give them a little boost because like I said, they're just going to go back to sitting and rest for, for quite some time till I figure out what kind of a system I'm going to build for those. So just to recap for you guys a little bit, yeah, those are four 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate batteries. Now they're all tied in parallel and they make one 400 amp hour bank and they're cruising right along. Yeah. Thanks to all of you that have in the past told me, yeah, go ahead and do that. I always hesitated about that. You know, it says not to do it. And rightly so, I understand what the manufacturers are saying, tie only the exact same thing together. Like I said, this is just my own experiment. I didn't have a problem with it at 48 volts and I'm not, I don't expect anything with this, but if I ever do, I'll let you know. Yeah, it's nice to be back up in the shop, dinking around, trying different experiments. Hope you guys are having a great day wherever you are. It's beautiful here, and everything's working perfectly. All right, guys, that was fun as usual. Uh, that was super, super easy. And like I said, if I had just had a, you know some more cables, I'd have gone ahead and charged up a few more at the same time, get it all done in one fell swoop. But I'm happy to be charging four batteries at the same time right now. And everything's looking real, real good. All right, so I got to go get in some trouble somewhere else, see what I can find myself doing the rest of the day. That's what I wanted to really get done. I mentioned that the other day to you guys, that that was kind of next on the list. And, and I had to put out a couple other little things first. And today it happened. So all looking good. And I'll keep you apprised of how this works. It's going to work just fine. I, I already know it's not going to be an issue whatsoever. Very happy with that. So... Uh, I just, I wouldn't leave. I don't need 400 amp hour uh, battery bank up here in the shop. So uh, once this gets charged up a little bit and they're all the same, which they are right now, but I'll see, I'll give them a little bit. I might bump them up to about 13.7, 13.8, disconnect them. Then I'll probably just move another 200 amp hour in there. That's about all I really need up here in the shop. So, all right. And thanks for tuning in as always, everybody. And I'll catch you on the next one. Got a real beautiful day here. Aloha. Take care of yourselves out there. 
happy solar hunting. Yeah, beautiful day. Typical. Fast moving clouds moving through, trade winds blowing, perfect temperature. And all systems are charged. What, what more could a guy ask for, huh? <laughs>